Separation. When I pinch you, the ripple effect goes on. Yeah, I'm a come here. I only been here eight years, but I understand the pain that rolls through the city. Cause the way it rolls, when I prick her, everybody felt it. Now, if y'all ain't know that rhythm, I'ma need you to understand. That's the Low Country clap. Right. Wake up. Wake up. You're in Charleston. Let that spread. Put your sign between your legs and bring your hands together. Let that spread. Only Charleston can do this. Oh, there you go. Come on now. Oh, and this one don't even want to work. Huh? Come on now. Put your feet in there. Come on. Now that's the low country. So blessed. With all of this talk of ancestry and looking to the past, what do you make of what do you make of that idea? What do you make of this idea that we could heal retroactively? Um, I it helps me to fully understand that black people, and black women in particular, are godly, mm -hmm. and that our abilities are limitless, mm -hmm. and that the more that we build community, mm -hmm. the more we get in touch with that power and that root magic and that wisdom. And additionally, the resistance, the feeling of resistance, specifically this is my first time in Charleston, that I feel here um, is overwhelming. And so it just reiterates the godliness that we all have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. I just want to share real quick that this is the me and she's the co-host of We See Sis podcast that everybody should check out. And she drove from Charlotte to be here. You know she just gave me my segue, right? <laughs> Connecting the dots across the diaspora. I'm British born of Jamaican heritage, living where? In the low country, Gullah Geechee Nation. I came here for the weather, but I also came for the route. This is one of the few places in these United States of America where I can touch, feel, see, smell, and experience Africa. Now, there are many who, yes, they get to go to Africa straight. No, I got to go to Jamaica first, take that bend. But the kicker is the rhythms, the flow, the language. They're saying, how are we doing retroactive healing? 
Let us hear some drums more. Know how to respond to them. Because when you look at those who the boats went other ways, you drop a Puerto Rican beat, you drop a Dominican beat, you drop a Haitian beat, you drop a Jamaican beat, they recognize who they are and what their baseline is. I think part of what I end up doing here, because I can't help it, I am partial to the low country clap because it's one of the few things that unifies wherever I go in the low country. And that's all I keep seeking. Because you do have a chord. You know I'm ready for it. Come on now, Charleston. All y'all here. Come on, ladies, y'all know. Ow! Oh. And it ain't just feeling, look at that. Look at that. Don't no other place do that. Oh, that's where I live in. Now that you run tell that with. No, that's why I stick it on everything. I had I had pictures of all the 54 flags of the African nations. And what did I stick behind it? The low country clap. We don't need no words. We got clap. That's it. Now listen, those of you who are not from Charleston, we're going to give you a Charleston clap tutorial. Is that all right? I can see the beach from an eye. Yes, sir. Oh. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Now, we're going to go one, one at a time. Everybody, one clap. together. I see him. Let's give him the clap. That low country clap. Come on, Charleston. Oh, yes. Yes. Come on. Oh, Charleston. Hey. I don't know what you've been told. I don't know where you gonna go. I come to clap my hands. I come to stomp my feet. I come to love my people. Hey! Come! Hey! I come for my healing, I come for my love. I'm here for my people, they gonna show me some. Low country style, bring on the beat. I say, I say, I say, hey. I come to clap my hands. I come to stomp my feet. I come to take my. What? 
joy. Find joy. Hey! Yes! Now you can do it.